Hey guys, Jay Agoni po, Keepsakes. Welcome to the second episode of the Dermoe Archive. This series, which will last until the rest of the year, will cover the videos that we have still up on the Dermoe Archives channel. Uh, we're going to look back at some of the great stories that we have on archive, on the file, para sa mga taong hindi makapunta sa mga cons. Basically, every one of us, dahil bawal pa rin po ang physical events. So, uh, before we proceed, of course, I would love to have you as part of my circle of subscribers. So, please, do subscribe to the channel and get more out of what you're watching. Basically, what I'm saying is that, again, retelling the stories. And every Friday sa 12 noon, ginagawa natin ito as part of keepsakes. And, yeah, it's it's quite a long ride. We started uh, doing this uh, Friday 12 noon schedule way back January with Otak Youth, if I'm not mistaken. And then, we've come full circle. This month, it's already September. And, ang dami na pong mga video natin na nailabas. Lahat na nailabas na natin halos napiga ko na yung content from 2018. And now, pipigain ko yung content that we have from our archives in 2013 to 2015. So, ang unang abag natin ay ang idol group na Star Marie, which has been coming and going to the Philippines for six times. Six times. They've been to South by Southwest. They've been to Indonesia. They've been to uh, quite... a uh, few places pero sa Pilipinas nagstay sila for, uh, they went here for six times their manager surely misses us we already have a sizable fan base dito sa Pilipinas and yes it won't be possible if not for the effort of the idols ano mantakin niyo they start uh, i i got introduced to them as like a three uh, three ladies and then two and then five And the rest is history. So, yeah, Star Marie is an idol group uh, which uh, started in 2008. 2008. So, they've already had their 10th anniversary. By now, they are 12 years old. And they've come a long way from independent, um, the independent music scene. Nowadays, their songs are being released by Bushiroad Music. They are selected to sing Uh, any songs for series such as Card Fight Vanguard and there's the series called Onigiri and they, they, they're still releasing new songs uh, their new track is called Konomama Monsta or Konomama Monster uh, whichever you want to pronounce that this is a collab perhaps ano, I, uh, because it's not just Star Marie here there's this band called Heidi or Heidi And if I recall correctly, kung tama yung uh, huntahan ko, if my hunch was right, Heidi and Star Mary were both guests of the Best of Anime series. And yeah, uh, their, their, their uh, personality, you know, offstage uh, or during interviews, makikita nyo, they're, they're really this, uh, they really have this idol group vibe na eto na-realize ko, na before MNL48, before the independent idols ng Pilipinas, Labso, etc. Ito, Star Marie, they have this idol vibe. And and on stage, they have uh, this kind of an edgy vibe because Star Marie, their songs, let me read this description. Uh, this is based on their Facebook page. Uh, I will read it kind of verbatim. The concept of fantasy is expressed through lyrics about life and death. So, kala nyo, pakit-cute itong mga taong to, pero seryoso pala mga kanta nito. And I've, I've realized it as soon as they step on the stage, the first time I saw them, na it's not just, it's not just yung parang um, uh, the, the, the common cute idol. You know? This is parang edgy pop rock idol na uh, naiintindihan ko. And they have this uh, very uh, ano ba how 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 do I express it yung mga moves nila eh parang pan talagang it's 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 quite different from the stereotype and that's what Star Marie's advantage is nowadays um, Star Marie they get uh, darker kind of darker than ever their aesthetics now darker terno na sa kanilang um, theme ano um, yes they are a fantasy idol group But then again, uh, once you listen to their songs, 
makikita nyo na parang um, they have they have songs na fit for any song so it's not quite surprising for me that they get selected to perform some any songs uh, I'll, I'll be few no kahit il, kahit ilan lang yan it's, it's not surprising for me because ilan lang ang mga kilala ko na idol group na nakakapagkanta na ng mga anime opening ending themes it's it's quite amazing to hear an idol group to sing an ani song kasi sabi ko nga iilan lang ang gumagawa niyan at iilan lang ang nakapasok para diyan as the wind blows right here sa kung saan man ako nakaupo i will share to you footage from our interviews our moments with star mary on stage and off stage i'm shita i'm monya i'm nonya i'm shinohamu i'm kata kami and we have a set of questions uh, for Starmy. So, we will focus on your recent announcement about Card Fight Vanguard G. You were, uh, our first question is that, uh, for Vanguard G, of course, how did you get picked to sing the ending theme for this upcoming series? Vanguard G is a very popular で、私たちもアジアでたくさんライブをしているので、そのアジアで頑張っているスターマリーとアジアで大人気のバンガードジーですごくあの両方なんだろう、両者で頑張っていけるんじゃないかってことで、あのスターマリーを起用していただけるパ
uh, the last song that you performed on the second uh, part of uh, second part of the uh, tour, the second encore perhaps, I think. That from hearing that song, you had the potential to sing anime songs because that is essentially uh, some, somewhat sounds like the ending of an anime song or an anime series. The time no end for then. So, sana yung it's kind of potential that anime song ka, may potential that anime song. Kung may potential sila na mag, ano, kumanta ng anime songs talaga. Kasi yung tunog, ang tunog ng huling kanta na inano nila is... Ah, so, anime, anime no ending with time. Okay. Tunog anime ending talaga. Hindi kami sa inas, so I think. <laughs> okay, so uh, for uh, let's go to the fourth question before we step up to the third one. Uh, for Monia, hi. hi. You cosplayed Nico Yazawa earlier. Before that, have you been cosplaying before? Uh, prior to that. My <laughs> でも次はあの、この私男顔なんですけど、男の子みたいな顔してるんですけど。すごい。なので、次は新世紀エヴァンゲリオンのカオル君とか、あの、進撃の巨人のあのリヴァイ兵長とかやりたい。So let me clarify that Monia is a cosplayer. コスプレ大好きです。あ、私は新社なんですけど、コスプレ大好きです。あ、私は新社なんですけど、コスプレ大好きです。わあ。オッケー。そう、あ、let's check。あ、sorry。さっきあった質問。あ、いや。あ、I now, if you are not members of Star Marie, who and where are you now? Uh, where do you think you are now? Uh, previously, she was working in a fashion shop, so if she was in part of Star Marie, then she would probably still be working in a fashion shop. Ah, I see. Oops. Okay, let's just. Okay. All right, it's still continuing. Okay, for you, Monia? <laughs> she thinks she's going to be working in a fashion shop. Wow. No chance. Uh, she will be a bus guide. Ah, okay. And. Uh, she went to a nursing school before, so I she think she'd be a nurse. And Kaisan? Follow up for that, Kai Chan. If you finish college, uh, what career path would you take? ああ、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、今、
Uh, have you had time to watch anime these days? Anime ah. So as I can anime ah. Uh, Skin anime. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I can anime you watch? Watch. Ah, watch. 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 あ、私はアニメあまり見ないんですけど、ワンピースだったり、あとはメンバーみんなで漫画を最近見ました。うん。あ、she when he's forming his face, that was the best. <laughs> yes, no time. Favorite character in Kuroko no Basuke? He's <laughs> Alright. Okay, uh, maybe I, I just ah. remember this now. And. Why? Why? Okay. Yeah, uh, before that, I just remember this. You're now part of Bushy Road Music. So, yes, Bushy Road Music. And that means you're side by side, by side with Love Live, Muse. How does it feel to be side by side with Muse? あ、えっと、今、ビジネス、ビジネスのあ、そうだね、はい、そう。えっと、ニュースと一緒になって、ニュースはこちらのジョーニーの。ああ、なるほど。どんな感じだったんですかまだ会ったことない。まだお会いし
yeah, it's the second. Uh, I I had I had to clip some of the footage up. So here are the other highlights from last month. Last month, yes. <laughs> yes, again, Kiryu Koko doesn't give a, a thing. <laughs> doesn't give an ass about it because, of course, um, she she explained it well, naman eh. Na it's okay for you to talk amongst yourselves here. It's okay. There are just most VTubers are not okay with it because it can start a fight, fight club, and you yeah. do not want to talk about fight club. Well, it's more like uh, more it, like it becomes it becomes, it becomes uh, like it, the chat like room for chat the streams are supposed to be about the stream, and when they yes. start going off topic and uh, there are disagreements within the audience, then it starts getting ugly, and they didn't want that. Really? And that led to yes. some some streams like silencing the chat, and that was not a good thing. Oh, oh. but uh, I don't know. Like I now they have the rules and stuff, and hopefully they'll be able to enforce it. Uh, the way I see it, the, as they continue to explode, the these problems will con will happen more frequently. They will uh, they will vary in degree, and mm -hmm. it's going to be quite difficult to to manage them. So hopefully they're they they're seeing into the future. I'm sure Coco has a good idea of what could happen in the future, and and she's probably trying to get ready for that already. Yeah, actually, there's this th on, a, on her recent uh, getting over it stream. She talked about adobo. She's what? adobo gang, and she loves pork adobo. Oh no, Philippines <laughs> for real? <laughs> she's right see. Now? For me, and, and uh, well, that was during one of the super chats, and I can attest to that. I can share you a video of that uh, because I clip it myself. Okay. <laughs> the Tito himself yeah. clipped himself. the Adobo gang. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coco's, uh, Tito says, Coco is pork Adobo gang. So, yeah, for example, again, in the Adobo gang, uh, she, uh, someone mentions she, she, uh, they're from the Philippines. Floor gang, adobo gang. Eh, you you won't see it from other streamers. You simply won't. No, you won't. And the chat people will eventually gang up on you. Don't do that. Shut that up. Tomare na sa tigilan mo yan. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah. So well, well, we we don't know. We don't seem to know what the answers will be. But it sounds like they they they're starting to face it anyway, and they're, they're starting to deal with it anyway. It's not just it's not just the global audience that their uh, whole life is having a problem per se. Again, the the content problem. Eh. They can do all the stuff. They they, they can do all the getting over it or uh, yun nga, no? best example Tetris ninety nine. I'm just waiting for Swissy to return to playing Tetris ninety nine because Nintendo had a strict guideline that only a select few companies are allowed to stream Tetris ninety nine. Niji Sanji had an advantage on that because nauna sila mabigyan ng permiso. And then Hololive. Okay. So I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting Wait, for Jay, Tetris 99 streams busy. to come I, back. I can, I can see that you've been very Sweet busy. Sweet come home. Because <laughs> yes. you've, you've, missed, you've missed her recent missed her Tetris stream. <laughs> <laughs> Yun na nga! Precisely! Yata! I'm going to watch a replay of that stuff. She, she She's good at Tetris, I tell you. Uh, if uh, I've seen somebody I've good at Tetris and it require like if, if if you can kill me in twenty seconds at Tetris, I'm I'm pretty sure you're good. I'm pretty sure you're good. Yeah. All right. So there, I know I, I I because of the VTuber again. Um, VTuber. Sa VTuber la ako na na nag ano nag focus na. Hey, I'm gonna play Tetris. I'm gonna play the cheese race. VTubers. Kasalanan ng VTubers yan. <laughs> It's not just it's not just Swisse, but also this Canadian Canada-based uh, Filipino YouTube uh, VTuber called Lyrica. Lyrica gang, sinigang, shout out Jan. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything in the comments. <laughs> uh, and siguro by now nakita niyo na yung mga highlights ko from the recently held Popcorn Better Normal, where I moderated a panel about cosplay in the better normal. It's really a fun discussion. Ano. Makikita nyo yung para moments na talagang kung hindi ko pa tinanong yung mga tanong na ito and kung, kung, wala, kung walang frontliner sa mga guests natin, siguro hindi ko mabibigyan ng spotlight yung mga frontliners. We actually had two, ah. 
I didn't know yung sinalang na guest ni David ng NCPH Red Cloud Interactive is also a frontliner. Kasi ang alam ko lang, is si Drancer, frontliner. Apparently, Trex is also a frontliner. So, yun pa, yun, siguro yun yung, ano eh, yun, kahit man sabihin natin yun lang ang, ang bag ko, at least I shed light on their stories. It's quite panicky. It's still panicky at this moment. And then, makikita mo yung balita po, yung mga politika. It's just, it's just that eh. Uh, talagang kumikitang ano ba, kumikitang mga views ano, sa mga political matters na yan, in which, of course, we usually ignore the time na mag-start na yung balita it's trickling down na parang okay, balita and then drama, 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 drama and then ignore you just listen to podcasts, you just listen to the stuff you're doing, you just do your, what you're doing, and yeah, including recording these vlogs. So, uh, do keep yourself sane, and I wish you all the best. Stay safe, keep safe, and keep yourselves and your family safe from the pandemic. Ano? It's still there. We are still on a queue, quarantine. So with that said, my name is Jay keepsakes and yes again i ask every one of you to subscribe to the channel for more content and we will still tell more stories blast from the past hashtag flashback friday every fridays at 12 noon manila time on this channel so keep your eyes open keep yourselves alerted keep that subscribe button click and also the notification bell so, you won't miss any update from me. You won't miss any story. Mahirap na. Maraming salamat sa panonood, And that's it for me. I'll see you next week.